How do I get over being ghosted? This has never happened to me before. Hi, my name is Martha. I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctorate in human sexuality. I'm also a relationship coach and you can find me at eroscoaching.com. So ghosting is a term that uh, I didn't come across uh, growing up and uh, essentially means that you start dating, seeing someone and all of a sudden they stop contacting you out of nowhere and um, uh, for no reason that you can think of. So for this person, they had uh, six and seven dates, six to seven dates, and they had amazing sex on the last date. And uh, he's always said, I can't wait to see you again. So he ghosted on this person uh, two weeks ago, and uh, she is now grieving and angry. So how do you recover? So she doesn't want to be sad anymore. So it's been two weeks. It's a long enough time to wait for a reply and um, there was no reply whatsoever and uh, she's probably tried to contact him and couldn't reach him so try to uh, find some kind of resolution within yourself on uh, why he possibly could have done it and uh, if you cannot because you know you don't know where this person is coming from uh, this person does know how to contact you and if he wants to contact you he would contact you and he doesn't contact you he doesn't want to contact you so uh, often there might be many reasons why he doesn't um, contact you and he's decided to ghost on you. And um, often it has probably nothing to do with you. For instance, like a fear of commitment. He realizes that he's not that interested in you. He has no guts to tell you. Somebody uh, old has re-entered his life. There might be a health emergency. So there are... Um, possible reasons and um, uh, if you've tried to reach out and you couldn't um, then one of the things that you must uh, think about is how uh, much more time you want to give this is in two weeks and um, you might have different emotions coming up you might have anger grief frustration and uh, you may need to do some emotional release and whatever it is, don't let this person who is not mature enough to let you know what actually is happening and leave you in the dark. Don't let this person affect you uh, for the rest of your life. Um, do what you need to do to be able to kind of wrap things up, put it aside and uh, move on. Sometimes there are uh, times in our lives where we want to have the answers but we don't have an answer we can't get an answer and it's just one of those things that we just need to try to say you know what I don't want to know the answer it doesn't matter anymore and just move on so this is Martha of Arrows Coaching if you have any thoughts comments you can leave a comment below and uh, if you have a question you're too shy you can email me and ask at arrowscoaching.com.